This is Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting, and I'm going to show you a brief overview of Overcast. It's a free app for iOS, great way to manage all of your podcasts, and it has some really unique features. So here, if I press on the orange Overcast button, you'll see I have a bunch of playlists here, and I listen to a ton of podcasts. So how do I subscribe to a podcast? How do I find one? In the upper right-hand corner, I can go ahead and press the plus sign here, and let's say I was looking for a podcast about storytelling. So I'll type in storytelling. I guess that's two words, but we'll try one word and see what we get. There we go. The Storytelling Monks podcast. Storytelling for the 21st century. All right. Let's say I want to check this out. I can press that. I can see this was last put out in 2009, but that doesn't mean this isn't good information. If I wanted to, I could click on an episode and listen to it. But let's say I know I like this and I just want to subscribe. Well, when I press on that, it basically goes out, adds it to my list here, and it's actually downloading an episode. If I press on the download button, you can see there it is. And I could actually stream that if I wanted to. So now let's say I want to make a podcast all about storytelling. Well, here at the top, I've got all these playlists and I could click up here and say, hey, I would like this new playlist to be called Storytelling. And down here, uh, I could go ahead and add some podcasts to this. So I will say, all right, um, let's see what we have here. We could go find uh, the one we just added. But I was also looking for um, Radiolab as a great storytelling app. There's that. So I'll say I want Radiolab. Here it is. Uh, these are in alphabetical order, so I could add. So now I've got the Storytelling Podcast and Radio Lab, and there's really no like done button here. I can just press the back arrow in the upper left hand corner, and there is my um, playlist. I could come over here and say I would like to listen to Radio Lab first. So there we go. And when you press done, you've created your playlist. That done is in the upper right hand corner. So now if I wanted to listen to all the podcasts in the storytelling playlist, I can just press storytelling, and you'll see there is the 21st century. Now, why doesn't Radio Lab show up? Because there aren't any new episodes out. But when there are, they'll automatically be delivered. But one of the great things about Overcast is how you can listen to a podcast. So if I press on this episode, now you're not going to be able to hear this, but I can see here I have a pause button, I have a rewind button, and a fast forward button that I can choose how far those rewind or fast forward. And under effects, I can choose my speed volume here. And what's great about this, you'll see I have smart speed turned on, and you simply press those buttons to toggle them on and off. And it actually looks ahead and say, sees if there are any advanced blank spaces and removes them. So you can see here, even though I have this at 2x, I'm actually listening, listening a little faster. In fact, I can actually go up to 2x plus, and you'll see that you can listen at a very fast pace. Now, it's not for everybody, but the great thing is you can pick any speed, and you'll see if you don't want smart speed, it'll be exactly whatever that speed is. Uh, the voice boost is great because it eliminates having to adjust your volume. It will automatically level out the sounds from podcast to podcast. And you can see here, I could use these effects just for this show, or I could say whatever I previously had on. So if there's a certain show, maybe they have an accent and not as easy to listen to, you could specify listening settings per podcast. So that's under effects. Under playback, you can see what do you want it to do after this episode is over. Do you want it to stop or go to the next one? You can see there's a sleep timer there. And if we go back, oh, if you press the uh, album artwork, it just brings you the full show notes. So one last feature I want to mention here is when you're listening to a podcast, in the upper right-hand corner, you have a share button. And if I click on that, you will see where it says, do you want to share the episode or share at a current time? So if you have something like here, I'm at the 6 minute and 58 second mark. Um, I can actually say, share this at the current time. And it opens up and I could say, let's share this on, let's say, Twitter or Facebook or wherever you want. So I will uh, do that and it'll fire up your, your Twitter and basically send a link that will send people to where they can jump right to, you can see here it is, and basically, uh, if I go ahead and post this, 
anybody that clicks on that link will be taken right to the 6 minute and 58 second mark. And if I go back now, here again, I am still listening down here at the bottom. And if I want to bring that back up, I just tap on the artwork. And that will bring it right back here. And there we go. So very easy to go back and forth. But if we go here to the upper left-hand corner, there are settings. And so, for instance, you can choose that when a new episode comes out, what do you want to do? And you can choose, if you're worried about your bandwidth and your data package, you can see I have mine set to only download if I'm on Wi-Fi. And there are a couple different options there. I can choose what to do after a show is done. Do you want to delete it or do you want to keep until I delete it? Over here, do you want to be notified of new episodes? So if your favorite show, you could come in and say, look, let me know when a new show was on. And you can see there, you can have an all off and then just manually turn them on or you could say all on. So very easy to quickly customize. Likewise, kind of global settings, unlistened episode limits. If I press on this, you can see, I could say, look, only keep one or two or three, or you can set it on a per podcast basis. And you do have an option here to support the app if you'd like to donate. That's kind of handy. But you'll see down over here at the bottom, it says smart speed has saved you an extra two hours uh, beyond speed adjustment alone. So it's kind of neat. If you, uh, you saw the priority option there in the playlist and that is an option here under nitpicky details. You can see, do you want to have the visualizer is just this kind of orange bar that shows up, but here's our fast forward and, and reverse buttons. And you can see, you can set those to be as small or all the way up to 60 seconds. And what's great, I'll show you with, when you use that button, it actually will jump faster than that. But here's that priority. If you're going to be using that feature, you need to turn it on here. Uh, at the beginning of this tutorial, I showed you how I had so many unlistened to episodes. That's because I have the icon badge turned on. And the bottom option here is what happens if you're using your earbuds, how you can customize that to do that. So it's a very handy app. But that's the other thing. Let me go back and play another episode here. So I'll just pick a random show. And here, when I press my 60 second, you'll see it's jumping by a minute, then a minute. But now if I do this a bunch you will see where it's jumping, it just jumped four minutes. So it's very easy to likewise with the minus one. So that is customizable and it will kind of, it takes the hint when you're hitting, you know, back or forward multiple times, it starts jumping at a much faster pace. One other thing is I'm watching this, I'm listening to this on my iPhone. If I come down here and just pull the playlist down, it's actually syncing with the overcast.fm website. And what's great about this is I've actually done this before, but you'll see there's the storytelling podcast here in my list. And I can actually fire up Overcast on my iPad and I can pick up right where I left off. You can see there's an hour and three minutes uh, remaining of that. So I pick up right where I left off. So it's a free app for iOS. That's just a, a real brief overview of how to use the Overcast app. This is Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com. Thanking you so much for watching this. Tell a friend and get them hooked on podcasting.